Are we ready? All right, good afternoon, everyone. We wanna thank you for attending the 2019 Clark County District Spelling Bee. And before we begin, if you would please help me to congratulate each of our school winners and runners up before we begin. I'm Susan Hillman. I am the District uh, Spelling Bee Coordinator and excited to be here with you today. Just a couple of reminders. I want to do some, before I do reminders, I want to do some introductions. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to three people that have um, helped, they help every year. All I have to do is, I only have to finish the sentence and they say I'll be there. So I want to say, uh, introduce and say a big thank you to Mr. Greg Holland. He's our uh, uh, Director of Pupil Personnel for Clark County Schools. He's our pronouncer today. Also, um, she is over Title I professional development, was my assistant principal. I've known her a long time. Mrs. Christy Bush, she is one of our judges for today. And new to Clark County Schools, he, I don't know how to say what your title is, Mr. York. Uh, title II. Title II. And new to our district is Mr. Michael York, um, and he is also with Clark County Public Schools. He is a judge today. Thank you to all three of you for being here. Also want to say a big thank you to all the parents and family members and principals and teachers that are here. Without you, this wouldn't happen, and we thank you for encouraging the children and helping them to practice and be ready. Well, the purpose of this is to find our winner and our runner-up. Our winner, and we have a two-time past winner in our audience, and she has represented Clark County at the state level twice, and Marissa is back, wait, Marissa, Marissa's back here, um, and uh, the winner today, just like she's done in the past, will go on and represent Clark County in the state uh, spelling bee, and I went to that one year, and it's pretty nerve-wracking. It's challenging. Yes, there's about 120, 130 kids there, and it's pretty intense. She's right. So our winner will move on to the state um, tournament, and that will be on March 18th in Louisville, and that's part of the Kentucky Derby Foundation festivities that go on. Uh, just a reminder, the children already know this, they've gone, uh, reviewed all of the rules, they were in the front of the um, study guide that they had, but just as a reminder, and I've told them, um, the judges have the absolute final say in um, what is accepted and what is not. So just wanted to put that out there. Let's see. Um, unfortunately, we are not able to broadcast this spelling bee until after the state bee is over. And um, we're hoping to have a link for that on the Clark County Public Schools website on March 18th. And I was wrong. The, um, d the state spelling bee is March 16th. It's on a Saturday. My apologies. It'll be on the website, hopefully, on the 18th. So I'm going to get out of the way, but before I do, if you would mind, please, to check your phones at this time and make sure they are on silent so they don't uh, disturb the children. And I want to wish each of you the very best today. Thank you. Good afternoon. Welcome to the 2018-19 school year for the Spelling Bee for Clark County. I'd like to have each of our contestants please step to the microphone closest to us. Please tell us your name and which school that you are representing. We'll start down here on my far left. Cooper Town, Baker Intermediate School, 6th grade. Thank you. Peyton Brock. Fourth grade, Justice Elementary. Thank you. You can pull it down. Oh, 
Okay, thank you. So scratch that. Everybody come to the center microphone, not the one closest to you. My name is Paul Groves, and I'm representing Strode Station Elementary, and I'm in fourth grade. Thank you. My name is Amber Pat, and I am from Tratsit Elementary. Thank you. My name is Sadie Owens, and I'm from El Concrete Elementary. Thank you. My name is Trent Christopher, and I am from Sher Elementary, fourth grade. Thank you. I am Jacob Neal, and I am Calvary Christian Elementary. Thank you. Jacob Cantrell, I'm from Concord Elementary School. Thank you. Mark Landon, I'm from Calvary Christian Elementary. Thank you. Clay Smith, fourth grade, Shield Elementary. Thank you. My name is Cole Gladford, Baker Intermediate, sixth grade. Thank you. Max Phillips, representing Robert E. Campbell. Thank you. <clears throat> My name is Marissa Gilchrist from St. Agatha Academy, and I am in eighth grade. George Landon, Calvary Christian School. Leah South Campbell, junior high, seventh grade. My name's Autumn Jajarian, and I'm from Calvary Christian School, 7th grade. I think I'm going to tell the story right before we begin, and I hope I don't embarrass Marissa, but I heard a story afterwards last year. Uh, Marissa, a couple of years ago, went to the state championship, and she received a word. And that was the word that actually knocked her out of the state championship. But ironically, if I remember correctly, the word that she won the championship last year for Clark County was the exact same word. So always pay attention to how you actually spell words. They might come back around for us. To go back over the rules, let's make sure that everyone is clear. We encourage you to say the word, spell the word, and then repeat the word once again so that we know that you are understanding exactly what the word is. You may ask for the language of origin, the part of speech, the definition, and for the word to be used in a sentence. Please don't be tripped up on any tricky homonyms that could have dual spellings and meanings with the same pronunciation. And with that, I believe we shall begin. We'll start down here with our first person. Your word is wound. Wound. W-O-U-N-D, wound. Correct. Your word is pollutant. Incorrect. Okay. Okay, I need you to speak real loud for me. Your word is temperature. Temperature. T E M P A. T U R A. 
are ye temperature? Incorrect. Your word is poach. Choose that in a sentence, please. Jessica's favorite thing in the morning is to poach an egg for breakfast. Poach. P-O-A-C-H. Poach. Correct. Your word is hayloft. Hayloft. H-A-L-O-A-F. Incorrect. Bye. <laughs> Your word is woozily. Can you use that in a sentence, please? The football player walked woozily off the field following a brutal tackle. Woosily. W-O-O-S-I-L-Y. Incorrect. Your word is zombie. Zombie. Z-O-M-B-I-E. Zombie. Correct. Your word is adobe. Adobe. A- can you use it in a sentence, please? The Hopi tribe frequently made their homes from adobe. Adobe. A. D. O. B. E. Y. Adobe. Incorrect. Your word is snuggle. Snuggle. S-N-U-G-G-L-E. Snuggle. Correct. Your word is pewter. Pewter. P-U-T-E-R. Pewter. Incorrect. Your word is egret. Egret. E A G R E T. Egret. Incorrect. Your word is omega. Omega. O M E G A. Omega. Correct. Your word is Abby. Can you use it in a sentence? The beautiful Abby had been destroyed in the 1500s when Henry VIII took over all the monasteries. Can you repeat the word? Abby. A, B, B, I, E. Incorrect. Your word is bewildered. Sentence, please. The algebra lesson left him bewildered. Definition. To be confused or befuddled, especially by being complicated or varied. Bewildered. B-E-W-I-L-D. E-R-E-D. Bewildered. Correct. Your word is spinal. Spinal. S P I N A L spinal. Correct. <coughs> Your word is diamond. Can you repeat that? Diamond. Diamond. D I O M O N D. Diamond. 
incorrect. Your word is jealous. Jealous. J E L O U S. Jealous. Incorrect. That is the end of the first round. Please give our contestants a hand. At this time, those who were eliminated, if you'll come off the stage. with our first contestant to my left. At the beginning of round two, just a reminder, please say the word, spell the word, and say the word. Your word is totalitarian. Can you please repeat the word? Totalitarian. Can you use it in a sentence? Many people fled the totalitarian governments of Eastern Europe during the Cold War. Totalitarian. T O T A L I T A R I am totalitarian. Incorrect. Your word is fathom. Can you repeat the word? Fathom. Um, can you use it in a sentence? The best fish could be found swimming one fathom beneath the boat. F A T H O M, fathom. Correct. Your word is chronic. Chronic. C-R-O-N-I-C. -C chronic. Incorrect. Your word is turmeric. Can you repeat that? Turmeric. Turmeric. T-E-R-M-E-R-I-C. Incorrect. Your word is sacrifice. Can you repeat the word, please? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. S A C R I F I C E. Sacrifice. Correct. Your word is vacuum. Sentence, please. Space is a vacuum. Vacuum. V A C U U M. Vacuum. Correct. Your word is simile. Simile. S I M I L E. Simile. Correct. That is the end of round two. Please give our contestants a hand. At this time, those who were eliminated, if you could please exit the stage. Start with my contestant to the left. Your word is lucid. Can you use that in a sentence, please? The lawyer gave a lucid argument in defense of her client. L O O S E N, lucid. Incorrect. Your word is altitude. Can you, can you repeat that? Altitude. Altitude. A L T 
I T U D E altitude. Correct. <coughs> Your word is cavalry. Sentence, please. Many people only think of soldiers on horseback as the cavalry. However, the modern military also has one. Cavalry. C A V A L R Y. Cavalry. Correct. Your word is solarium. Solarium. S O L A R I U M. Solarium. Correct. That is the end of round four. Please give our contestants a hand. Those who have been eliminated, if you will please leave the stage. Your word is vaudeville. Vaudeville? Can you use it in a sentence, please? With her uncle's ability to tell jokes and juggle, she thought he would be a perfect vaudeville performer. Wait, vaudeville? Vaudeville. Vaudeville. V-A-U-D-E-V-I-L-L-E. -E. Vaudeville. Correct. Your word is vichyssoise. Sentence, please. Tom usually loved potato soup, but when he heard it was served cold, he declined the vichyssoise. Vichyssoise. V-I-C-H-Y-S-S-O-I-S-E. Vichyssoise. Correct. Your word is perdition. Perdition. P-E-R-D-I-T-I-O-N, perdition? Correct, and we will continue. Your word is austere. Can you use it in a sentence form? The children did not like the austere nanny because they thought she was mean. Can you give me the definition? Severe or stern in disposition or appearance, somber and grave. But the word's austere, right? Austere. A U S T E R? Incorrect. Your word is hyperbole. Sentence, please. Few people believe the politician because of her constant hyperbole. Hyperbole. H-Y-P-E-R-B-O-L-E, -E, hyperbole. Correct. Your word is provolone. Provolone. P-R-O-V. A-L-O-N-E. Provolone? Incorrect. That is the end of round five. I believe we have a winner. Congratulations, Marissa Gilchrist. Tell you what, gentlemen, I tell you what, since we're down to two, why don't you both stick around? Let's do a second place. You're first. Your word is traipse. Trapes or drapes? Trapes. Can you use it in a sentence? It was a beautiful day, so we decided to traipse through the woods. Definition? To walk or tramp about gad. Trapes. T-R-A-P-E-S? Incorrect. Your word is indigenous. Indigenous. I N D I G E N O U S, indigenous? Correct. Congratulations, we have our winner and our runner up and our third place finisher. Let's give them a hand, please.
And Marissa, if you'd like to come down here, we'll present you with the trophy. At this time, we'd like to thank all of our contestants and participants in the Spelling Bee. That's a, that's a huge accomplishment to make it this far. So everyone here, congratulations to you. Uh, you were the champions in your school, and we'd like to, to say congratulations and thank you for participating in the 2018-19 Clark County Spelling Bee. Thank you.